State. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial straightened down 190. NASDAQ is off 50. S&P is down 17 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading up $9.60 at 1943 an ounce. We have silver down six cents, twenty-five dollars four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off seven and a half dollars, hundred dollars sixty-three cents. Notes and bonds: a ten-year note up seven ticks, trading one twenty-two twenty-seven. The thirty-year up eighteen at one fifty. And king dollar, king dollars up five hundred ten ticks, trading ninety-eight three oh four. Euro one ten, yen one twenty-one point five nine. The British pound is at one. Where are you, pound? Come on, baby, where are you? How are you? You doing to me? GP. Oh, 131 to 1 U.S. dollar. Well, you know, when we take a look at the S&P, which you have, have out here, you're pulling back. Still got light volume. We're getting close to this high, folks. The bottom line is that uh, it's going to be intriguing to see what, ha what, what shakes out here. But what we had is this. If we go back to Tuesday. Tuesday, bottom line, you got a high out here of 80, uh, 86 million. You can go sideways to down yesterday with 79. Today, we only get 44. And the fill the gap was 456.93, and we hit 455.83. So what this tells me is that what you're going to see here is that tomorrow probably should be an update. And I think that's all she wrote. <laughs> that's kind of where my head's going here. I uh, get these ABCs. We're, we're close on these ABCs right now. Well, you know, you're 20 points away. If you get a rally tomorrow, bottom line, you're going to get up and into where there's going to be some problems, I think. That's the way this market seems to be shaking out right now. Uh, we have to wait till tomorrow, though. Well, what that's telling me is that whatever this jobs number is tomorrow is that we're going to go higher. That's the bottom line. And as we go higher, what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for another contraction of volume. That's how, that's how this baby's going to shake out. If you took the uh, NDX 100, it's the same setup. The NDX came down, rejected the gap at 365.01. And you can see the volume is contracting in a monster way in the NDX 100. Now, that being said, there's a lot of stocks that are still getting smoked. They're getting sliced and diced in a monster way. So I think we're getting closer every day. Gold. Gold contract basically is sideways, moved to slightly higher. Gold's going to need more, more volume. We only have 135,000 contracts. It's not a lot of contract volume. I expect you're going to see higher price, but the bottom line, I want more contract volume. We go over to the dollar, the dollar saved itself. That's the bottom line, you know. It hasn't broken that bottom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.